in this cypress tutorial we are going to see what are hooks and how to use hooks in the cypress automation testing so let's understand what are hooks first so this is a code block that will be executed before and after the automation test so we have total four hooks in the cypress one is before second one is after third one is before each and fourth one is after each the first one before so this particular particular code block will be getting executed before all the automation test and after is exactly opposite to the before so this code block will be getting executed after the all the test execution and coming to the next one before each as name itself says that so this code block will be getting executed before each automation test and after each is exactly opposite to the before each so this after each block will be getting executed after the each test cases so especially when you are dealing with the database connection or excel connection or reading the data from the excel or you want to create a, some precondition test data for the test cases so those kind of functional functionality can be implemented in the hooks and after completing the test test execution so you want to clean up the test data or you want to close the database connection or the excel connection so those functionality code can be written inside the hooks so let's see an example for the hooks in the cypress so here i will navigate to the vs code and here quickly i will create the one javascript spec file so here i'll say hooks test.cy.js so that's it and here i will copy the one of the js file code so that has the test suit and test in it so simply i will delete all unnecessary code so which is already commented over there and then we will update the test suit name test name now let's update the test suit name as here i will give the suit name as hooks test suit so that's it then i will provide the test name as hooks test that's it so here i will give the test one so because we are going to create the another similar test now so here i will copy the same test and i'll paste it down so that's it so i will provide the test name as hooks test 2 that's it now let's use the hooks that's a before and after so here in this vs code so simply i will write i will write the before so this code block will be getting executed before executing all the test so here i'll say one message as running before all test that's it then i will add the arrow function and inside this i am writing one simple log by using the cy dot log so here i'm printing the one message called running before all test that's it and in the similar way i will add the after also so this code block will be getting executed after executing the hooks test one and hooks test two so this code block will be getting executed before executing the any test execution here so here i will i will say after and here i will say the log as running after all test so that's it guys now i will go back to the cypress test runner and i will refresh the spec file then i will open the hooks test.cy.js file so it, it has started the executing uh, very first test test that is a hooks test one and if you see the log over here so it has executed the before all code so that is a before code block now hooks test 2 is getting executed and if you the if you see the test count here our two tests are getting passed 
So let's look at the logs. So firstly, I will open the hooks test one. And if you see here, so this particular log is printing from the before. If you see here, so this message is written over here in this before code block. And in the similar way, if I come down, so nothing is printed in the hooks test one. So after completing the execution of the hooks test two at the end, you can see that after code block got executed and here you can see the log also running after all test and you can see the running after all test right so this is how you can add the before and after code block in the cypress now let's see how to add the before each and after each code block in the cypress automation testing so that is nothing but the hooks in the cypress so here simply i'm saying before each and in the similar way we have to provide the name of the code block as so it will say running before each test then i will put comma and here i'll add the function arrow that's it so in the similar way i will add the another log inside the before each hooks so here i'll say running before each test that's it guys so similarly i will add the another code block that's a fourth hook that is a after each so here i'll say running after each test so that's it guys now we are done with adding the all the hooks in the cypress javascript file now i will go back to the test runner and i will rerun the test once again so there is a some error it seems so let's look let's look at the error just give me a second guys i will check what is the issue here Yeah, we have not provided the correct hook name here so that's the reason it was not loading the js files let me reload the all the test now so if you see here so first test is getting executed now and it has started the test 2 also so let me go to the hooks test 1 so this is a particular message is coming from the before so this log is coming from the from the before hook and then we have another log that is a before each so this log is coming from the before each code block then and if, if i come down in the same test so at the end you will be able to see the another log that is the after each so whatever the code you have written inside the before each and after each so this code block will be getting executed before executing any test and after each code block will get executed after the each test cases and if i come down in the hooks to in the similar way before each got executed and after each got executed and at last you can see the running after all the test so that is nothing but the after code block got executed now this time what we will do is if you look at the hooks test one and hooks test two so simply we are launching the browser in each of the test so i don't want to execute this particular cy dot visit command in the all the test so basically i will comment this part from the test two and i will cut this particular line and i will put it inside the before each so still our code will work fine because we are doing a little code optimization that's it so if i go back to the test runner and if i run the test once again our test will work fine without any issues so any preconditions are there that precondition functionality you can implement in the hooks basically so that is very normal in uh, manual test cases every test case will have the some precondition 
so that preconditioned functionality can be implemented in the hooks and if you see here our two tests are working fine and uh, two tests are getting passed and you can see the at the end you can see the log from the after hook and also you can see the in the beginning that's the before hook code block got executed so this is how you can implement the hooks in the cypress automation testing